Hey guys, if you're new here, welcome. And if you're not new here, welcome back. In this tutorial, I wanted to go over how to add realistic snow to your footage. Here's the footage we'll be working with, and here's the snow overlay that we'll be working with. To start, you want to add the footage that you want to add snow to, to your project, as well as the snow overlay. Then we can make a new composition with the footage we want to add snow to. From there, you want to look for the effect 3D camera tracker and add it to your footage, and wait for it to finish calculating. Once it's done tracking, you can see that there have been many track points now added to the footage. So what you want to do with that is click on one, doesn't matter which one, but I'm going to click on that one and create a null in camera. Now from there, you want to add your snow footage to your comp and make it a 3D layer. If you don't see the 3D layer icon, you click on toggle switches slash modes to make it appear. So now we click that button and it is now a 3D layer. From there, you want to click on the snow layer and press P as well as the null. And that brings up their position properties. From there, you want to take the parent and link of the position of the snow layer and drag it and bring it to the track null. Now the snow follows our footage. Now scale up the snow until it fills up your entire frame, just like that. And finally, you set your blending mode to screen. You can also try experimenting with the add blending mode if screen doesn't work as well for your footage. You can also experiment a bit more with scale, position, and rotation to make your snow blend in and composite better with the footage. Now a nice finishing touch that we can do to composite the snow better with the footage is to duplicate the snow layer. And then from there what we want to do is we want to make a mask around anything that's bright in the footage. So click on the top snow layer and draw a mask over anything that's bright, like this sign over here. Now from there, on the top snow layer, you want to press M to bring up the mask properties. Double click mask one and set the feather up a little bit. Now, as you can see, we're going to have brighter snow around the area of the sign. Here's a before and here's an after. In certain cases, if your snow isn't still bright enough, you can add an exposure effect to the top layer and play a little bit with exposure or offset, but keep it very subtle as this is a strong effect. Just like that. Here's a before, here's an after. Another effect you can experiment with is glow by adding it to the top layer once again and playing with the glow settings until you find something that looks good. And that's it. If this video helped you out, consider subscribing for more videography and VFX content.